Hi, my name is Joshua, and you're going to gain some information about Buckthorn today. So, Buckthorn, otherwise known as Ramnus, uh, is a real sh uh, problem in Chicago. Uh, Buckthorn is an invasive species from the Ramnicae family that is common in the Midwest. Other species of the Ramnicae are found on the East Coast and in Canada. Uh, Buckthorn, which is um, mostly specifically kind of attached to the Midwest, um, can grow to a maximum of 18 feet, but where we mostly see it, we see it as thin, small, shrub-like bushes. On a food web, which is a way to map a more dimensional food chain, buckthorn takes up nutrients from the ground and takes 10% of the soil's energy, but nothing really eats the buckthorn. Uh, this is because no species actually wants to eat it. Species like deer and small mammals don't like eating because it's a lack of substance and that it isn't really good for them. An invasive species is a type of species um, that quickly thrive in areas where it isn't wanted. Uh, it'll take up a lot of space, preventing other plants and from uh, and uh, and animals from growing or thriving. And it doesn't really give any, uh, anything back to the economical system that it's in. The deer population is affected negatively by buckthorn because deer get less to eat if a majority of the forest is buckthorn. A healthy forest is a forest that is able to sustain itself through a well-balanced ecosystem. Forest health is important because forests generate life, energy, and oxygen. Buckthorn is a threat to healthy forests because it takes up space and isn't really helpful to the forest and doesn't allow its normal ecosystem to function. Uh, there are many ways to prevent buckthorn uh, from spreading, and one way that doesn't involve a bulldozer or a fire is simply cutting or pulling it out of the ground. Uh, many wildlife organizations are interested in cutting down as much buckthorn as they possibly can, um, and they want to do this through volunteers. Um, it's easy to pull out of the ground or cut down. Um, but since they spread so fast, they can recover quickly. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something about nature today.